With the uh, pick just obtained, the Chicago Bears select uh, Walt Harris, defensive back, Mississippi State University. So the Bears have the, gone uh, as we had Seattle suggested. The Seahawks are now on the clock. With the Seahawks on the clock. Let, let's go to Chris Mortensen uh, uh, quickly in Miami. Mort? Well, Chris, uh, Dave Wanstead talked to his good friend Jimmy Johnson yesterday and was very concerned that teams would jump in front of him to take Walt Harris. Walt Harris is a bigger defensive back than Alex Moden. Remember, they got Chris Carter, Herman Moore, Jake Reed to contend with. Uh, they went in the tank last year when Donnell Wolford went down. They absolutely needed a cornerback, and Dave was willing to pay the price to get it, Chris. All right, Mort. Uh, in the division, as we look at Dave Wanstead and the Chicago Bears and knowing what they have to go up against, this is a division, the NFC, the Norris division, with so many productive receivers, but so many big productive receivers. Herman Moore, especially Brooks, is not as big. Chris Carter, physical. Jake Reed, a big receiver. Alvin Harper, a big receiver. You need big guys to play defensive back. And uh, Walt Harris and, and, and company, they know what they're up against in this division. And Harris is almost six feet tall. Size fits the division, Mel. Well, I rated him as the best athlete of all the defensive backs in this draft. Watch this move on Bobby Engram. I mean, this is an athletic football player with quick feet. And I think when you look at what he did at Mississippi State in terms of versatility, not only covering the pass, but also playing the run, tackling ability. You see the burst to the ball here, and then the leaping ability and the instincts. I think that's what Walt Harris brings to the table. Not only will he be in a position to make a play, he'll come away with the interception. Watch him here come up to support. This is against the outstanding running back Kevin Falk at LSU with the open field tackle. Look at that first. And there he goes all the way. I mean, that's a special football player. It's a special play. Great players make great plays, not mediocre players. And that's what Walt Harris, that's why he's needed and a necessary component Mold. of the Buffalo Bears defense. Bills with the 24th pick in the first round, select Eric Moles, there you go. wide receiver from Mississippi State. Philadelphia is on the clock. Well, Eric Moles, the way the Bills have him scouted, he's got good size, he adjusts to the ball. The only knock on him, and I'm going to ask Sterling Sharp about it, in Mississippi State, he certainly saw no offense similar to the style that he's going to see with the Buffalo Bills. But again, he averaged 31 yards on kickoff returns. That's a need. And a size, possession receiver. Yeah, they got Quinn early on one side. Sterling talked about uh, Eric Moulds. Do you think this will hamper him playing in not an advanced type offense in college? Chris, I really think we'll get an opportunity now to see how, real, how good this guy really can be because he didn't get a lot of opportunities at Mississippi State. As a return man, yes, he's excellent. But look at the body size, the weight at 204. He's going to be able to play in the slot where Andre Reed made a name for himself and go inside and make catches like this and make people miss. This is the best yards after the catch guy in the entire draft. Coach Godfrey also agrees with me. This guy is for real. I mean, he's a ball hawking type, loves to catch the ball in his hands, and he likes to make the special catch. He's the kind of guy that goes after the type footballs that a lot of guys in the NFL will give up on. Great one-handed grab right here, concentration on the ball. He feels like he can make every play a larger one, and that's the thing you want in a, in a system like Buffalo. Quick hitting if they decide to go K-Gun with no, the no huddle. This is the guy you want inside because right now, I don't think he's going to be a big-time player at wide receiver for him right now, but I think they're going to get a lot from him as far as a return man, and they're going to work him in outside before they move him in. They're going to work him inside, outside before they move him inside. So let's go to Chris Myers. 